had some spare time so I thought I'd make another video about another telescope. This is something I bought, I don't know, three, four months ago, something like that. Uh, anyway, this is a French naval telescope from about 1845, 1855, 1850, somewhere around there, middle of the, middle of the 19th century. And I know it's French, and I know also that it was made in Paris, because I've got the maker's details engraved beautifully on the barrel. Uh, Maison de Ling, Chevalier, Optician, Place du Pont Neuf, 15, Paris. Uh, the optician who made this particular telescope, uh, or at least whose shop sold it, among other things was optician to the French royal family. Uh, back in the 1840s, as you can see it is a really really long telescope. Um, it's a four draw telescope, meaning that it has four draw tubes. And it's got a beautiful, I believe it's a mahogany barrel. And then at the end, it has a sliding shield for the objective lens and a cap on the end. Uh, this, like I said, is a naval telescope. It was designed to be used at sea. And it's got a number of really interesting features on it. So let's go through them. First is the draw tubes themselves. They have all these little holes punched into them. You can see one there. And there's another one there. And there's another one there. These tubes are to make the, uh, sorry, the, uh, these holes are to make the draw tubes easier to close. What they do is they redirect the air inside the tubes out of the holes to prevent uh, unequal air pressure. If you didn't have the holes drilled into the tubes, then closing this telescope would be very difficult. As it is with the holes in the tubes, closes nice and smooth. It also opens nice and smooth because the holes allow for the air to move. You might be able to hear the air rushing in and out. You can hear a little hissing noise. That's the air rushing in and out, in and out of the uh, draw tubes through the holes. So that makes the telescope easier to use. Another feature is the sliding lens shield. Uh, these were a feature, these were a really nice feature on antique telescopes. Uh, I think you still have them on modern telescopes and uh, on some cameras as well. Basically you slide this forward, lens cap comes off, and you have a nice shield over the objective lens. Now that is to prevent rain from getting on the lens if you're using this in wet conditions. Uh, it also stops the rays of sunlight from getting on the lens and blinding the user. Uh, so if you're using this in very bright sunlight and you're pointing it towards the sun, the rays of the sun will hit the shield before they hit the lens, uh, making it much easier and much more comfortable to use. Another feature is that the lens shield is fixed onto the barrel by being threaded. So you just unscrew this like so, and then you can just take it off, clean it. Uh, then once you've cleaned it, you can slot it back on. Now on 
other telescopes of this type with sliding lens shields. To remove this, you would have to disassemble the entire telescope. Uh, what you would have to do is you would have to unscrew the telescope here. Then you would have to unscrew the uh, then you would have to unscrew the shield. You'd have to slide it off the telescope backwards and then clean it, fix it, whatever, and then slide it back on. And then you would have to put the telescope back together again, which is a big pain in the ass. So if you do it this way, it's a lot easier, which I think is a really nice feature. Uh, so yeah, like I said, a French mid 19th century naval telescope in fantastic condition. There is not a damn thing wrong with this. I mean, yes, there's a couple of um, chips on the barrel. It's made of wood. What are you going to do? The brass could probably do with a bit of cleaning. Uh, I've been lazy. I haven't been bothered doing that. But other than that, it is in excellent condition. There's no damage on it whatsoever. The lenses are as crisp and as clear now as the day they were made. And it's just a really amazing piece. I, I love this telescope so much. Um, I, this is one of those pieces that you buy once and then you would never ever sell it again. Um, I do have an article about this on my blog. If you want to read a bit more about it, then uh, I will leave a link to the article in the description below the video. Uh, I hope you will enjoy it. And I hope that you enjoy the video found it interesting, entertaining, fun, whatever, educational. Uh, if you really enjoyed it, and if you enjoyed some of the other videos, then feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a comment, leave a like, ask a question, whatever you want to do. Thank you very much for watching.